All right. Let's go do Keelix story. Though I have a feeling it's going to be really short also. All right, Edge Master's teaching. Ooh. There was once a martial arts temple known as Ling Shang Su. Though the temple had a long and prosperous history, it would take only one night for it to be reduced to ruins. The sole survivor was a man named Killick. Training under the old man known as Edge Master, he worked hard learning secret techniques for resisting the cursed soul Soul Edge in preparation for one final battle. Like a Star Wars movie. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Fighting the evil within. With Edge Master's words carved into his mind, Kila continued with his grueling training regimen, even after he had began his journey. Sometimes while training, he would reflect upon the lessons his master had taught him. Keep your eye on the enemy before you while controlling the evil within you. Is that really possible? The Devapara Yuga is the only thing that keeps the evil within me at bay. So what will happen when I lose its support? You die. <laughs> that could happen at any time without warning. When it comes down to it, if I go in too hard, I could lose control. That's what he said. That's what Master was trying to say. That line was utterly fucking disturbing to me. For only one reason, and one reason it could only be. <laughs> Enough with that. Alright. With Maxi joining him on his journey, Keelik remembered what it was like to live alongside someone for the first time in a long while. To Keelik, training every day came as naturally to him as breathing. But Maxi looked at Keelik as if he had never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's part of my daily routine. Never the hard work. Perhaps it's not enough. I have to be able to control myself without Devapara Yuga. Sure, you've got a lot to carry, but still. I just feel like I'm on the verge of something. Well, maybe you should test your skills in a real fight for a change. You don't mind? Of course not. But be warned, I don't plan on losing. Be warned, I'm going to be a tough guy. Okay. I feel like he keeps saying it differently every time. Fucking. The pot are you good? Like. Ah! No soul charges, alright. That was disturbing, dude. It was like slow. He was like impressive. Max it. Oh, long pauses. Oh. Stop reminding me of John Ink. Stop. That sound. Oh, 
Smith. Oh, yeah. It's so awkward. It's like slow and. What the fuck? I'm near the edge. That spin in midair. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking good. Your attacks feel a little rough though. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, attacking's not about pushing against your opponent all the time. You fight as if you're not coming out of it alive. So I'm pushing too much? I see. Yeah, if you've got something you want to protect, you've all got to survive. Hey. Are you, Are you even, even listening? listening? Mm. <sighs> you need to think about not thinking too much. He's just whispering off to himself and he's like, hey, hello. <laughs> oh my god. Training with Chang Wah. Ever since Shang Wah has joined the expedition, Keelik was able to practice the Ling Shen Tzu fighting style. As he sparred with her, he couldn't help but be reminded of Shang Liang. His feelings grew ever more complicated. Could should have just said conflicted. So this is the Ling Shen Tzu fighting style. I'm dying. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too familiar with swordsmanship, but... Okay, how about we have a little practice fight? My pleasure. Thanks! Oh my fucking god. The way he said it all, Creeper, like, I'd love to hit you with my long, hard staff. Oh. Never mind. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> that echo. I think I just gave her a concussion. Cartwheel kick. What a freak. Nope. It's all he blocked the first time. It's fucking crazy. Did she just say damn you? Really? The way she landed. No. <laughs> That's great. Oh. You know what else is great? My fucking staff in the face. <laughs> fucking great. Oh, I lost. Still, I think I know how to handle you. You mean I'm leaving my 
yourself open? How so? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just, you seem to hold back when you had the opportunity to strike. Were you going easy on me because I'm a girl? Okay, so even though the balance between push and pull is important, sometimes I need to push. I need to be able to make that judgment. I'm gonna make this work. A strong resolve makes for one whom people can rely upon. Kellogg, are you even listening to me? But still... Hello? Come on, Maxie, tell him. Once he's lost in thought, he's gone. But that's just... just rude. I guess he just has that much focus. If only he had someone to look after him, right? Hold on! It's not like that! <laughs> That uh, totally is. I can't remember correctly though. Wasn't Keelik the one who fathered Laisha? Shang Wa's daughter? Or was it someone else? I don't know. With the cooperation of Maxi and Shang Wa, Keelik's training was beginning to produce results. However, it was still unclear whether he could use his abilities competently in real battle. Tension welled in his gut as the fight he had been training for grew nearer. That oh, fucking... More lizard, lizard freaks. freaks. These things are so creepy. Don't fret. You can do this. Okay. Set the bird to the tree to the sky. Oh. Yeah, do you really have the need to tell me that every time? <sighs> His was short also. So I remember when I did, uh, when I did Zhang Wa's and, who was it, Sung Lina's and I think Taki's, it took me a bit. Took me two parts. There you go. Thanks for watching today.